G'day everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ryan and this is Rise for Scent. So, I'm actually bringing another list video and they're actually quite enjoyable to make. You know, you get out some of these scents that you haven't seen them uh, used in a little while and especially when you're coming into a new season, I reckon it's pretty cool. Um, I've decided that I'm going to make, for each season, I'm going to make two videos. Uh, well, actually three. So, I'm actually going to do like a designer and niche for the Northern Hemisphere and then I'm going to do a, what I'm really looking forward to wearing for um for the southern hemisphere for my aussies i gotta i gotta stay loyal to my aussies so this is actually going to be a spring list for my aussie fans so i hope everyone enjoys it um uh, yeah so let's get started i i'm gonna start with a bit of i find this is a bit of a beast fragrance like not 10 plus hours longevity but you know nine maybe ten it's quite fresh it's also uh, the way I describe it is like when I wear it, it's holidays, floral, fresh, um, and fruity. It's actually quite fruity as well, um, and it's by Mancera, and it's called Sicily. Now, I don't see this one talked about too much. It's definitely unisex. Actually, some guys might not, not like it because of the floral in it. Um, it doesn't turn me off at all. I think it's, it's great. So, the main notes I get from this are citrus, mandarin, peach, and like a musk in the base which gives it really nice longevity so mentera are actually really known for great longevity they're not known for the most um natural smelling fragrances but they make really nice uh, fragrances they smell fantastic they really know how to blend aroma chemicals really really well and like i said you get great projection with them and great longevity and this one's no different so the next fragrance is, I think, a bit of a love or hate. Some people love it, some people hate it. And it's um, the name, which I think Jeremy Fragrance has talked about. He says it's an awesome name, and I have to admit, it is a pretty awesome name. And it's called Versace the Dreamer. Now, this is actually, there's two tobacco scents. This is one, and there's another one in this scent, uh, sorry, in this list. And fresh tobaccos, they don't come around very often, and I think it's pretty cool that I have two in this list. So. Yeah, this one is really, really nice. It is a different tobacco fresh scent. And like I said, they don't come around. There's not that many of them. And I really get a lot of tobacco, iris, amber, and maybe a little bit of juniper. I Maybe it's the juniper that lends to the freshness. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, when you look at the notes, you go, wow, this, this seems like a heavy scent. But it's not. It's really, really not. It is great. Damn it, it's spritzed. Comes across a little bit harsh in the opening with the tobacco and the juniper, I think. Quite quite woodsy. Oh, guys. <laughs> Definitely don't blind buy this one. <laughs> That's all I can say. So this is Versace, the dreamer. Okay. So we've got a niche fragrance next for number three. And... I really like this scent. It kind of it smells nothing like Aventus. <laughs> so don't think it does. It smells nothing like Aventus. But it follows that like woodsy, fruity feel. And it's called Bleecker Street by Bun Number 9. And I describe this as like a fun, fruity, green scent. And it gets fantastic longevity. Uh, I think it's perfect for spring because it has that beautiful greenness in it. And it has actually quite a unique note. It has... Violet mixed with blueberries. You don't hear blueberries talked about much in a fragrance. Well, I, I don't think there's many. And it's really nice. I, I, I think more fragrances have blueberries <laughs> in it. It has this nice woodsy, musky base. Um, Bond number nine tend to cop a bit of hate from what I've seen in the past. They have, they, they're known to be, some people think they're quite expensive for the quality that you get. Um, I mean, they are quite a expensive like niche brand. I think this one's well worth it. So if this one sounds nice, I definitely think um, try it. And then, yeah, if you like it, then buy it. Um, so that's Bond number nine, Bleecker Street. One other thing, when I actually took this one to one of my, um, I have a group of friends that we all get together and bring different scents and we all try them out. And this was actually, when I brought this one that one time, this was actually a bit of a hit. So I don't know if that means anything, but uh, quite a few people enjoy it. So number two. Um, how would I describe this scent? Uh, class, class, 
class, classy vetiver. <laughs> um, this one, it's funny. When I first got into fragrances, and I first tried like heavy vetiver scents, I hated them. I hated when I, I tried, and there was a bit of hype around this. It was um, Artisan Pure by John Vavatos and Terra de Hermes. Like they had a fair bit of hype when I was first starting out, and I remember it was so excited. I went to Meyer and I tried them out, and I did not like them, <laughs> not at all. Especially Terra de Hermes. Like getting around that dirty vetiver was not me, not me at all. Move forward like two and a bit years. I can't get enough of vetiver. I love vetiver, and um, they're probably one of the, the one of the notes that I'm really sorting and really enjoying trying different types of vetiver. And I'd like to actually pick up a fragrance from Nisha Nay, and it's called Salt and Vetiver. And I think it has four different types of vetivers in it. It is fantastic. Anyway, so I'm going on a tangent. So this scent is um, by Tom Ford, and it's called Grey Vetiver. And like I said, when I see this one um, being worn by someone, it is by someone like Tom Ford himself. Like when I think of this, uh, what smell of this fragrance, I think this is what Tom Ford would wear on a daily basis. I'm not sure if it is, but this is what I think he should be wearing. And this has to be with one of the best Tom Fords. Uh, it's not complex at all. I think the main notes are, like, the main notes that I get are just uh, vetiver, uh, grapefruit with a nice woodsy base and it like I said it's not complicated it's not it doesn't have a heap of depth it's just lovely blended it's fresh it's just a uh, very very clean vetiver nothing dirty about it one of my friends he loves this fragrance as well <laughs> he knows who he is he's probably gonna watch it oh, fantastic if you are like a CEO type or like a, a boss of a company or something like this this is the scent I think you should pick up. Tom Ford, Grey Vetiver. All right. I have been wearing this fragrance quite a bit and I was looking forward to wearing it. I bought it in the winter and I was waiting for spring to bust this bad boy out. And it lives up to its name. And every time I wear it, I want to go to a music festival. This is Maisie Margiela Music Festival. And this is one of those scents. When you hear the name, <laughs> And then you smell it, you go, I can picture that. I, I really can picture that. It's a little bit dirty. It's fresh. It definitely has like this boozy, fresh tobacco feel to it. Now, the actual uh, notes in it, apparently it has um, cannabis in it or a cannabis accord. I don't get that at all. I, I, get, I think it's the patchouli and maybe the incense mixing together that make this... I, I, I don't smell cannabis, <laughs> but I, I do get this like earthy, slightly, to, um, it has tobacco in it, so you get this tobacco feel, and I literally feel like I'm on the, in the, in the mosh pit, yelling out to my favourite punk bands or techno or whatever you're into, and it's just so much fun, and it, it is a little bit boozy as well. So guys, if you are wanting something that's fun, different, Slightly dirty, fun tobacco, boozy style scent. Definitely give this one a look at. It's Maison Bargiella uh, Music Festival. Now, I, I, I personally really like the slightly green scents for uh, for spring. I think it really brings in the in the, the, um, the in the season really nice. And you know, when uh, that's what we really want. We want these beautiful green settings. Yeah, it's not too green here at the moment, so maybe that's why I want green scents. <laughs> we haven't had like a good amount of rain in, or any rain really in five months, so it's getting a bit depressing. But anyway, uh, that's a side topic. I have my fragrances. They can make me happy and make me think of green things. Anyway, let me know what, what are you guys wearing for this spring? What do you like to wear in spring? And uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.